Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and I'm here with another little vlog, which I hope is a bit better quality in video and sound. I've been trying all different kinds of software. I don't know what it is on Windows. There are a lot of video software that's supposed to capture things from webcams. It's just rubbish or doesn't work properly. Lots of things will let you import it later, but won't let you capture it in the first place. So I've ended up using a little bit of software, which I hardly noticed that came free with my Logitech uh, webcam. It's a HD Pro webcam C920 and it has this little capture thing with it and it you know records in HD and lets you sort out your microphone and all sorts. So here we are. Um, just going to ramble on a little bit today about my experiences of publishing with Smashwords which is something I have been putting off for ages because if you're in self-publishing and you can't yet afford like me to, <laughs> to have somebody else do all this hard work for you. Formatting is one of those things where you think, oh, I wish I, I should be writing, I should be, you know, sitting here coming up with nice stories or maybe editing something. I shouldn't have to sit here like going through every heading, every page, every line break. Um, but, you know, that's what you have to end up doing. And so I've been doing it. And really, I'm here to tell you it's not as bad as you think. Now, the first thing, if you're like me and you're, you know, full of the joys of getting on with it and not really wanting to read all the manuals, I'd say get the Smashwords style guide and just go through it. Have it open somewhere. I'd either share your screen, you know, part the document and part the style guide side by side. Or if you've got a couple of monitors, put one on each, um, which is what I did. And just go through it. It's actually really not that bad. And if you've used word to any reasonable degree, you will soon get it. Um, it is actually really quite straightforward once you've got through that, you know, the pain barrier of just saying, OK, let's do it. And of course, for these things, it's going to take you a few goes. Let's be honest, you're not going to get it right first time. And you're going to get through it all and think it's all perfect. And oh, apart from, you know, page 37 has got something weird on it. Um, and usually my tip in Word is if you have something weird you can't seem to get rid of, just delete it. It's sometimes quicker to retype a few words than it is to spend hours thinking, why won't this, you know, little bit of weird style or chapter heading or something behave itself? Why won't it go to the right place on the page or do what it's meant to do and just delete it and write, you know, write chapter 35 heading again and apply the correct style. So I won't go into it here because it's all there in the style guide and you really just do have to follow it through and there isn't a substitute for it, I'm afraid. Just go through it and it will work and it will be correct and it will get through. And when the Smashwords Auto Vetter suddenly says, oh, there's no errors with this, you have quite a little moment of zen in a calm when you feel that I have achieved a level of Smashwords, um, I'm a Smashwords guru or something to that effect. So you know, work through it sewing carefully and then the great thing is once you've done that you are away I mean they make it very simple the interface on Smashwords can look a bit basic and it is compared to some things perhaps like like the Kobo writing life thing is a lot fancier and snazzier looking but suddenly Smashwords just does it all for you it, it collects it and formats it and redistributes it you can choose which channels you want it to go to and it will do it I think it does it several times a day it's easy to replace your version with another one if you do spot something that you know the link just says upload a new edition or new version and you know upload your file and away it goes and then you get some quite nice little graphs you can see people downloading it my only worry was that because it was the first time I'd done it of course I had some errors and I'd set it to publish immediately because I didn't want to do their pre-order option um, and people were downloading the thing um, before I'd finished all the formatting. So I, I don't know how it works, but I'm, I'm hoping people will be able to get an update of their file if they've inadvertently downloaded one with errors. I hope so, because I can't see a way of pushing out that change to them. Although Smashwords does push revisions out uh, very quickly, and it will tell you that it's pushing them out. And yes, you could individually go to all the ones like Kobo and, and publish them separately, but Smashwords does that for you. Um, I let it push out to all the channels except um, Kindle because I'd already done it on Kindle. The thing was already there. And I'm doing it 
partly so that I can then make my novella uh, called Breaking Ground, the first novella in the Darkening Stone series. I'm doing that to make it perma-free. Uh, later on, I'm going to be doing some price matching uh, or asking Amazon nicely to please price match it for me if you wouldn't mind ever so much. Um, and I'm hoping it goes through. But if you are humming and harring about using smash words and you're sitting on the fence, um, why are you sitting on the fence? Get off the fence and <laughs> just have a go. And yeah, you know, you might um, get a little bit frustrated when you, you're on your third pass through it and you can't get it quite right. But if you follow the, the style guide and go through it step by step, it actually is really not that bad and it does save a lot of pain. Um, you look at it and you think, oh no, pages and pages of this thing, I can't go through all this, but just deal with it step by step. And I found it really quite straightforward and it gets you into their philosophy, which is really, you do things in the, get your Word document, blast it all to normal. That's the easiest thing to do. Select everything, put it in the normal style, and then you set up other styles once you've got your normal correct as you want it and you can check all this in the star guard is what it should be you then set up a few other styles for instance you set up your chapter heading one um, in subheading if you've got a subheading um, little things like maybe if you want the first paragraph in a chapter bit to be a slightly different format just to give it a slightly more polished effect you can do those so you only set up maybe four or five styles at the most and then it's just a question of going down, selecting your text and applying the chapter style. And the nice thing about doing that is if you do need to tweak those styles, it will affect all of those. So if you haven't got, say, the chapter headings correct, you can just modify that chapter heading style and away you go. It'll it'll do them all for you. So <clears throat> really, uh, this isn't an advice thing. I don't, <laughs> I'm not experienced enough to go on giving advice to people. Um, but go ahead and do it and have a go at publishing on Smashwords. And it's actually quite nice. It's a nice feeling to think, OK, all my eggs are not in one basket. I know people talk about this and they say, in, in theory, you shouldn't leave everything on Amazon because you're at their mercy. And you think, yeah, yeah, but, you know, I know Amazon. I'm familiar with it. I'll stick with it. You know, they're very big, very powerful. Um, but it perhaps this is part of being an indie is that you think this is what it's all about when you make that break and you think okay now I'm elsewhere that is what it's all about and it's really nice for instance to suddenly see a bunch of downloads coming from Barnes and Noble I'm thinking wow that's brilliant you know I would never have got around to doing all those types separately um, so go for it have a go at smash words get the style guide in which they do it in several different formats you can download it as an ebook if you want so you could say have it on your kindle and page through it on your kindle if you've only got one monitor and then and work through your, your word document on your monitor you know they make it really quite easy to get hold of it so use it don't think i can do without it i'll just do it myself i'll form it anyway i want it'll be fine it won't no it will not it will be awful i'm afraid <laughs> it will just be hideous so do it stick to it step by step and then before long depending on the length of your text you know it, it might take you an hour or two and that's probably be it and then it'll be away just make sure your channels are set up and off it will go so good luck with it um always happy to have comments i'll post this up on my site at mikeycampling.com so it'd be great to have comments there you can find me on twitter um at mikey campling uh, very easy to find and if you're looking through Smashwords, look me up on there or any of those other areas where you, where you can now get stuff. And please do uh, leave a comment there if you like. And the book's free if you fancy a nice free read full of suspense and mystery. Uh, why not download Breaking Ground, have a read of that and leave me a review somewhere. Um, I'm doing a thing at the moment, which I know some other people do. If you are a keen reviewer, then... If you are happy to leave a review of Breaking Ground, do send me a link to it. You can email it to the link to mikeycampling at gmail.com. And I will be happy to send you a review copy of the full length novel, um, Darkening Stone novel Trespass, uh, which is the full, you know, 74,000 word 
novel, I'll send you an ebook of that in order for you to um, do more reviews. And it's a review copy uh, for you. So that would be brilliant. Um, comments, welcome on any and all of those places. Uh, even if you just want to stop by and say hi, that'd be fantastic. Okay, I'll, I'll cut short there. 10 minutes seems about right. Um, give us a shout. Okay, keep writing, keep smiling. Bye.